Hello, uh, my name is Michael Mucker. I am a visual artist, mixed media artist, graffiti artist, airbrush artist, you name it, I've painted it artist, uh, soon to be tattoo artist, possibly maybe not. Um, all around art, digital art, you name it, I can do it. That's just the way I am. When I first uh, decided to become an artist, I decided that there wouldn't be anything that I shouldn't be able to do as long as I put my mind to it. Uh, I have been able to uh, create not only digital animations, but uh, digital digital design or graphic design as they call it now. Uh, I've also painted wall murals. I've done automotive airbrushing. I've done body painting. I've done uh, digital landscaping. I've done a little bit of everything. Uh, once again, like I said, uh, I try not to have any limitations to being the creative individual that I am just because I want to be able to create beyond what I did the day before. I am art. My current series that I'm working on right now is called The Unrefined Collection. Uh, it is based off of the, mi the many, 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 many children that I've taught art to over the past 10 years. Uh, I have definitely had a bunch of characters that I've had to deal with when it comes to uh, teaching kids art. Um, so uh, I wanted to not only illustrate the children in, in a way that is uh, artistic but also the knowledge that the children have shared with me over the years. I wanted to also illustrate that in a way in the paintings uh, more or less along the lines of judging a book by its cover. I wanted to give you uh, the rough cut edge of the child that I saw when I first met him. And then I also wanted to give you in retrospect uh, the, the rough cut knowledge that the child has inside of them that they shared even though uh, I initially thought they were the complete opposite from what I learned. First five paintings, uh, I wanted to give uh, more of a perspective from, from my view. Uh, the first five children are all African American or all five of the children are black. Uh, I wanted to not only uh, make one of the children based off of my own life and my own personal experiences, but I also wanted to base the other, the other four children off of either uh, children that are directly close to me or someone that I have um, been able to un not forget. There are, uh, I will definitely say, there are three children. I'm gonna hold up these three fingers because those three kids know exactly who they are that I have taught art to over the years that have definitely affected me in a very positive and inspirational way. So. Those, uh, those three kids will name, uh, they will remain nameless, but they know who they are. I had a couple of questions from some individuals that was wondering exactly um, what the paintings are made of. Um, the paintings are, the, the process that the paintings are made from is, it's uh, called acrylic skin. Uh, I'm not, I don't have a barn in my backyard, I'm not a, uh, I'm not killing animals and taking the skin off of animals. I'm not, uh, I'm not hanging humans up in my closet or anything of that nature. This is, uh, it's, it's an actual paint resin. Um, this is what it looks like once it's dry. And um, I take this and I use this to I cut it into different shapes. Now these, these are two pieces that have already been cut. You know, from one of the five that is already done. I'm not exactly sure which these pieces are from, but. Um, I usually take this and over a period of a month, uh, this turns into one of my children. Um, there will be, uh, hopefully at the end of this project, once, uh, I have, once I've gotten through majority of the images that I have in my head, uh, there will be a total of 30 children. You know, 30 children with 30 different uh, quotes, uh, each giving you some sort of insight on who the child is or who the artist is. Um, a lot of thought goes into the work. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not one of those things where I sit back and just, oh, I'm going to draw this because I think it's pretty. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I'm, I'm doing it because, one, I want people to not only look at the work but be pulled into the work and wonder 
what is going on inside of the work. Why was that particular piece done that way? What was it about that particular piece that made that type of artwork come out? What was the artist thinking about when he created that? I want people when they look at the work, I want them to reevaluate what they think about art. I want people when they look at it be like, wow, I never thought that something like that could possibly happen. I want them to turn around and question who? I want them to question themselves. Because one thing that I have learned over the years, when it comes to uh, certain, certain families or when it comes to certain ethnic groups, uh, a lot of people are uneducated when it comes to art. You know, if, if they don't have the education or if they don't have the understanding of the art itself, then they don't know what they're buying. They're just buying something that they see that somebody else likes, that they thought was cool, that they feel like they want to put either in their house or in their home or in their office, instead of actually dissecting exactly what the art is, understanding what the art is, and being able to turn around and re-explain the art to someone else.